Nation. All right, 615 now on Daybreak and time to see what is trending this morning. Hey, Kate, good morning. How's it going? Good morning. It's going well. Got a little bit of a mixed bag this morning, which, you know, is always a little bit fun. Something for everybody. Uh, people are still gushing over the new royal arrival and another arrival is also getting a lot of attention on the Internet as well. Facing a throng of photographers and press on the way to meet her baby brother, Princess Charlotte managed to charm everyone. And it appears she has already perfected a very royal little wave. Imagine what it all looks like to her. Here she comes <laughs> from her vantage point. <laughs> She's turning three years old next week. George, meanwhile, is four, an old pro at this. He's been through this once before, after all. So no comment, no comment, right? yes. no comment. The princess really is charming. And we're going to be talking more about this Look at later, that, the over-the-shoulder wave right there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be talking about picking uh, the baby names as well mm. a little bit later on, so stay tuned for that. Also this morning, Greece is the word. The movie, that movie is 40 years old. Uh, and the director is sharing some fun facts with the Today Show uh, that even hopelessly devoted fans may <laughs> not know. So get ready to blow Carol from Accounting's mind at the water cooler with some of the <laughs> One of the things he revealed was that he didn't think Olivia Newton-John could pull off the sexier side of Sandy. And then she came out of the trailer. Not only did she prove him wrong, he said he didn't even recognize her at first. Wow. He's also revealing that she was nervous playing opposite John Travolta because of their age difference. She was in her late 20s for this. Again, they were in high school in this movie. He was a few years younger. Uh, one of my favorites, though, the iconic song Grease that was written by Barry Gibb, performed by Frankie Valli, almost wasn't the title track of the movie. They almost had another song by a musician named Bradford Craig that had a more 50s vibe that was considered. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, Grease was more disco than Yeah, than, 100%. Than 50s, yeah. Can you imagine? But finally this morning, a lot of people excited to get outside, play a little golf, uh, but you have to be careful oh, out there. Yeah. Oh no. Michigan high school student Isaac Colting got on a goose's bad oh. side and was attacked on the course. This was at a tournament over the weekend. They had strolled past a nest. The pictures were shared on Twitter and then shared again by PGA America. Isaac said he's only <coughs> had his pride hurt in all of this. Wow, the goose Thankfully. definitely won that <laughs> oh, battle. Yeah. Don't mess with mama. He says, I'm shooting a birdie today, but that's not what he had in mind. <laughs> wow. I also heard that uh, with regards to Greece, that Marie Osmond was the original uh, cast. Pick for Sandy? Pick for Sandy. Really? And they huh. thought, again, given her persona at the time, would she be able to pull off that kind of naughty or uh, sexier side? Right. Yeah, because they she's went, a little bit country. Exactly. So she uh. couldn't do that. I know. And they also said that. That's funny, Pete. <laughs> that that movie would have never been rated PG if it came out now. Yes. Oh. Because of all the sexual innuendos throughout the entire movie yes. and then just the, you know, the overall references, right. yeah. um, it would have never been rated PG. Mm. Yeah. Mm.